I'm really excited to hear President Biden tonight. Um, it's amazing how much he's been able to accomplish and uh, all of us working together have been able to do in one year. And, and we know there's more to do, and we're committed to doing that. Uh, our Senate and House Democratic Policy and Communications Committees have uh, invited guests virtually. We're glad we're going to be back on, all in the chamber together. Uh, there won't be folks uh, in the gallery yet, and so we have each invited someone to a virtual reception and to be with us today. And these are folks that have been keeping our country moving through the pandemic and benefiting from our efforts during President Biden's first year. So we've invited teachers and parents and small business owners and construction workers and healthcare workers and people all across the country who can speak about what the American Rescue Plan and the infrastructure bill and other things have meant to them. Um, my guest is Scott Hammontree, who is the owner of a local music venue in Grand Rapids, Michigan. We've been able to uh, provide support for 288 uh, downtown theaters and arts and live venues that had to shut down completely under COVID. And they're now opening their doors, they're hiring their workers back, people are coming in and uh, enjoying what they have to offer. So thanks to President Biden's steady leadership, truly steady leadership and competence, working with Congress, we have made enormous progress. We've gotten shots in arms, we've gotten tests in people's homes, and we've got kids safely back to school. We've passed an infrastructure law that's a game changer is creating jobs, strengthening our communities, and building a better America. And our economy has seen the strongest growth since 1984. The strongest growth since 1984. But too many folks are still feeling the squeeze of higher costs. And we know that. When you shut down the economy in our country and around the globe, and you see the supply chain challenges and the transportation challenges and everything else that has happened, we understand that we have to focus to get people uh, back in a position where those costs are going down. We know it, the President knows it, and that's why he'll lay out a plan tonight to lower costs for folks while continuing our strong economic recovery. We'll strengthen our supply chains, we'll make more things in America, and uh, like semiconducting chips that are so critically important for our auto industry, we'll press back on price gouging, which is very real, very real. Look at oil and gas prices and what is happening here. They set the prices and there is price gouging and I would expect more of that to come. We're gonna cut costs for things that keep people up at night. We'll lower prices through competition that helps our small businesses and our farmers and protects consumers. The State of the Union is time to reflect on where we've been and to focus on where we're going. And I'm excited to see our nation moving forward and building a stronger America. Thank, Thank you. you, Senator Carper. Do you want Gary to go first on that?